That's impressive. And 10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins joins us right now. Fortunately, we haven't had a lot of uh, hurricane activity around here, but Umberto joined Gabrielle in the tropics today. Yeah, and, and Gabrielle is not going to be an issue. This is Gabrielle here. It went up. It's kind of similar to this. Did a loop around and came back over. Okay, it's out of here. We're not even worried about that. That one is Umberto. You can see it out here now. It's going to be curving west of Bermuda before it wraps around. So Bermuda will actually have to watch this one because a lot of the weather will be on the right side. And then we have Invest 94L, which is trending a little bit more into the Bahamas and then maybe up towards the Carolinas and potentially a recurve. Right now it's an 80% chance that this develops lately, uh, likely Friday night, Saturday into Sunday in the Bahamas. So let's start with Tropical Storm Umberto. 45 mile per hour winds at 11 o'clock came up from 40 earlier. You can see where the it is right now. That's the, the old one. Sorry about that. That's the track right there. It's forecast to get even stronger quicker now. So by Friday evening, 70 mile per hour winds on the cusp of a hurricane Saturday, 100 mile per hour hurricane. That's cat two cat three by Sunday evening and keeping it right around 115 mile per hour winds by Monday evening west southwest of Bermuda at that particular time. So Bermuda really needs to watch this. Now the forecast model suggests that this will recurve. That's the good news that, that this one's going to be the bigger one, the stronger one, and it does look like it's going to recurve. It has come a little bit further to the west but I don't think the, the East Coast, especially Florida, has to worry about that one. Now, about 750 miles away, we have Invest 94L. Okay, now the models on this have shifted more into the Bahamas, but then back up towards the Carolinas. Some of them were back here earlier, and it may actually get picked up and taken out, but, but we just don't know yet. And something called the Fujiwara effect could happen. This is when you have two nearby tropical cyclones that rotate around each other. And essentially, they need to be within about 900 miles of each other. And there's kind of a central point here. They'll start to rotate. The two we're looking at now are about 750 miles apart. And then eventually, the larger one will absorb the smaller one. They'll kind of rotate around, and then it becomes one low. It doesn't make a super low pressure, but it does absorb one of the others. The GFS kind of shows that. This is Umberto, that's 94, which would be Imelda. This is Sunday morning, but it, it more than anything else, it just kind of merges them into one storm by Monday night into Tuesday. But all of that stays just off the East Coast, all right? Now, the European, by the way, I wanted to show you this. It brings our rain chance on Saturday with the cold front. We need this because this front pushes eastward and keeps that off of the Florida coastline. That's close. That's Sunday evening with a tropical storm in the Bahamas. That's breezy. All right, breezy, but not an issue for us that way. But you see by Monday evening, there's Imelda, there's Umberto, and basically the European says, okay, let Umberto go, but Imelda gets held back and then pushed back. The models are, are all over the place. This is a very complex system that we're watching here. So we'll keep updating it for you. I don't think Florida is, has a big deal right now, but that, that 94 is getting closer to us, which is likely going to be Imelda, and that could really affect our weather as we get into Sunday and Monday. It's nothing major, but we could get some showers and perhaps a breeze. The East Coast will have to watch it for more than anybody else.